with us. The legend. Woo-hoo. At this time, I would like to welcome well, in, I want to make sure I get all your accolades right okay. here. Right. Five-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA selection. Marcus, thank you so much for being with us here today. We're just thrilled. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Look, last night, your Bucks picked up a finals win for the first time since 1974. Wow. That is just crazy. What is your reaction to witnessing that live last night and just this playoff run overall? Well, it, it was just a lot of fun to see this team finally play up to their capabilities mm -hmm. and, and shoot the ball the way they can shoot the basketball. Uh, Giannis has been, ter uh, been, been terrific, I'll say terrible, terrific the last mm -hmm. two games. Uh, but, but it's been a struggle for Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, uh, in, in game two, but to see them bounce back, especially Drew in that third quarter, yeah. well, it was good to watch. But just the energy, the effort, uh, the home crowd getting behind this team, kind of riding the crest of that emotion of the crowd, I think was the thing that, that fueled this team to victory. Okay, because you follow this team so closely, you know, you've yeah. done so many games for them. What do you think that they need to do moving forward to maintain this? Because you know, you can't just win all the games at home. Some of this home has to carry over to the road. Before we get to the road, what do you think they have to do in game four? Well, game four, you know, I, I think you're going to see some adjustments, obviously, from Monty Williams. I thought we did a really good job. You and Perk were going at it about Devin Booker. And I yeah. think <laughs> both of you are kind of right. I think there were some adjustments made. You can see how the Bucs uh, played Brook Lopez a little bit higher up on, on, on the ball screens where he met him a little earlier so he could, couldn't get ahead of steam, couldn't get momentum. Uh, but it's basically, you, know, you can't get full today on yesterday's pancakes. So mm. that same energy effort, you've got to crank that up exponentially for every, every game. There's more energy, there's more effort, there's more focus, there's more of everything mm -hmm. needed to win the basketball game. So uh, Coach Budenholzer, I, I have faith in him, unlike some people around here, that, that, that <laughs> he, he, he will look at the film and, 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 make, and, 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 and continue to make the right adjustment. But it's about the players, man. Yeah. It's about coming out there and playing as hard as you've ever played basketball in your life. And then that's what it's going to take. And this team, they're slow to pick that up. But when they do, Ooh. you can see the results of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think Perk wants to jump in here. Oh, no, all right. No, I get to jump in. I go. get to jump in. Go. I do want to ask a little bit about your dunking. I mentioned it on the last show. We showed this when you did it. You are 65 years yeah, old. Yeah. You still do this. <laughs> and by the way, as you sit across from me here, you don't look remotely 65. Well, so that. we might need to check a little birth certificate <laughs> action right here. But we'll get to that. How are you? He, this man just played a couple of years ago. Richard's sitting next to you. First of all, the little strut there is yeah, yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. That's a little, thrill, um, little thriller action. Little, going little on there. Go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Um, he complains about how he can't even be in dunking shape now. And he's no. like a couple no. years out of the league. How yeah. are you doing this? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's all the crazy uh, taxing of my body that I did when I was younger, all the crazy strengthening drills for my legs, <laughs> running beaches and leapfrogs with 25-pound weights behind my back. I mean, I'm paying a price now in terms of my hips and my neck and everything else, but I still have some, some really, some, really, some, some, some good verts. You're going to keep know, doing it? You're going to keep doing it every, every, every year? Well, yeah, every until year I can't birthday. do it anymore. Okay, until you don't complete it, yeah. then we don't post well, the video. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, but the thing about it is that it, it's motivation, inspiration for me to, to work out six days a week, not a lot, 90 minutes yeah. at the most, but just to stay in reasonably good shape. I don't dunk except on my birthday. That's the only time I try and do it. I never know from year to year if that's going to be the last <laughs> time, if I can get it done. This year, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I called my son Josiah. He was coming over to video. I was like, man, I don't know. This may be the year that we shut it down. <laughs> and but yet, no. Yep. Hey, able to get up there and Josiah do it. Josiah Johnson, best mm -hmm. follow on Twitter. Agreed. His son, best follow on Twitter. If you're not following him, you're making a mistake. The meme king. There. But Right? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, harder right? than me can. But really quickly before, you know, Rachel gr grabs you, White Man Can't Jump, my favorite movie, so impactful for me as a kid. Like, what is it about <laughs> that movie that still has so much leg it's, and it's in the culture like yeah. so many people? I know you still get it to this day. All the time. I'm, I, it's just the trash talking, I think. Uh, it, Ron Shelton wrote the movie trying, trying to capture the essence of playground basketball. The character I played, Raymond Dickens, was based on a true life guy by the name of Reggie Harding. And I wrote a screenplay about him that I think Anthony Davis would be perfect for. But he had a tragic life filled with drugs and, 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 and gunplay and all kinds of negative stuff. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, we had a great time doing it. And I think that, that, that comes across also. Uh, yeah, it absolutely <laughs> does. So great. By the way, I love how you just dropped that in. I wrote a screenplay. This man has so many talents beyond Put him in the just Hall of basketball. Fame. And Hall again, of fame. your son making a great contribution. Well, and, and the final point, we got yeah. another screenplay. By the name of Burning for Justice, talk about social justice issues. This, these guys 
integrated the fire department in Los Angeles in the mid-50s, and these are the real social justice warriors, the first kind of social justice movement. And I was able to interview uh, five to 10 of them before they passed away, all of them wow. in the 90s. And Steph Curry, I got a role for him. Steph, I got a part for you in this movie. <laughs> He's ready. I mean, it's a support role. You don't have to carry the film. It's a support role, Arnett Hartsfield. Google him, just a tremendous guy, law, law degree from USC, fireman, <laughs> the whole shot. So. Well, you, you can write the script. Those guys can be in yeah. it. You can dunk while you're in there. Your son, who is, again, the meme king of Twitter, can go photograph it and you put it on the website. Cameo. This is going to be all, <laughs> all, all in one. Thank you so much, sir, for joining Appreciate us. We it. love Thank you for having, having you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.